Wednesday night. It's a Wednesday I'm uh, just cleaning out the car from yesterday's run, and this is the shirt that I was wearing when I fell. This is my left shoulder. There's the dirt right there. So that my shoulder dug in. I'm very grateful for, that I was wearing. You, sometimes I run without a shirt. I would have been torn up. So that's the dirt there. And then, a little scarier, but there's my hat. And look at, uh, I don't know if you can see the dirt marks on the hat there. So, I definitely planted a little bit. I, I just went down. I went down, and I'm just grateful there was no major rocks right where I fell. Uh, so, be careful out there, folks. Pick your feet up. Pick your feet up. Keep moving forward. Tip of the day. When you're grilling, you gotta account for the grease that's gonna fall. Okay, this is for charcoal grills especially. Make sure you calculate for the heat that will be exerted from the charcoal based on the amount of grease that will drip down into the charcoal because the grease, it's like, uh, it's like pouring gasoline on your charcoal. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but no joke, you gotta make sure, like right now the charcoal is perfect, but five minutes ago it, I, it was a little cold and it wasn't cooking, but then the burger grease started dripping down into the charcoal, and so now we're, we're okay, cooking guys. with peanut oil, you know what I mean, so we're doing good boys, so that's the tip of the day. Make sure you account for the grease that will drip onto the charcoal. All right, before I take the meat off, the deliciousness, shout out to Lee Meekin over in, I believe it's Shrewsbury. Lee, I believe you're in the UK. I don't know where that is, Shrewsbury, but he's a vlogger over in the UK, and he tagged me in his most recent grilling experience over in the UK, and this was a couple days ago when it was raining here in Colorado, and it was sunny and beautiful over in the UK who get you know what gives there uh, but anyway Lee shout out to you thank I believe his vlog is called Somerset vlog Somerset vlog so anyway thanks for grilling and connecting through the Twitter now it's time to eat Family is in bed. Time to go to work. P.S. I don't think I broke a rib yesterday, which is good. That's a good thing. But it definitely doesn't feel amazing. It doesn't feel amazing. Ha! <sighs> I ran 10 miles today. But that first three quarters of the mile, oh man, I was like, ugh, ugh. I've done this before. I think I'm okay. And anyway, there's not much you can do about a rib. I guess stop and do nothing, but is that really an option in this world? Is that really an option? <laughs> <laughs>